welcome back to Honeybee Farmster. You can see it's a cold, dreary, wet, rainy day again. We had some beautiful days earlier in the week. Um, so I decided I'll get him a fresh bale of hay and put it under cover here so they can be out of the cold um, rather than foraging. I mean, they can still go out and forage if they like. The gate's open, but um, they might enjoy being undercover for a bit and being dry and having fresh hay. Harvey, come on, buddy. We're not going to be able to do much today because of the weather. Um, I am enjoying, though, that it's raining because we put all the cow poo on our garden beds and so that's really great that's going to be watering that in um, that's what I'm after and it's good to have a day off like I have been so busy uh, my car's still not working uh, we're hoping for the alternator to like Alex is working on it now um, it's quite an, a process apparently to get to those alternators so I'm supposed to be working at uh, my other work today but I'm not able to get there so um, hopefully I can tomorrow I'm kind of missing it um, but yeah today's just day on the homestead and yeah hopefully just just chilling out catching up with these guys um, it's nice when they're in because they're in the paddock so often these days I don't see them a lot unless they come in for milking so I could watch them eat for hours Hey, beautiful, yucky weather, we're going to go to the show, the York show, in this yucky weather, I'm going to stand under here while we wait for everyone to get their act together, get their water bottles, my water bottle, yeah, <laughs> how's that for a little reminder, so yeah, weather's gross, there's nothing else we can do. Go to the show. We're going to meet up with someone special there or some lots of people that are special. So it's my niece's birthday today. Little Miss Skylar. My cousin. She turned seven. Happy birthday, Skylar, Annie Mel, and everyone here. Love you very much. Love you, Skylar. So yeah. they apparently have plans to go to the show, so we might meet up with them there. I don't know if they've changed their plans because of the weather. But it's very, very yucky. So off we go. All right, so we're in the gate. That was hectic. And we've come to the chicken pavilion because we know I love my chickens. And we're looking through everywhere because we've never been to the York show, even though we lived next door in the neighboring town. So for all you chicken lovers out here, oh wow, look at this guy. It's gorgeous. These are all small ones. I get into my heritage, but look at these guys. Ooh, look at the breasts on that. He had an egg ball. Hey? Yeah, they do. I, I recently went on at, at, and researched how, which chickens lay the best eggs and stuff. Look at this one. She's gorgeous. Oh, look at this one. Look at the legs on it. That? What are you? What sort of bird is he? Look at how far apart his legs are. He'd have huge breasts. Oh, look at these. Look at that one. That's like it. Gorgeous. Oh no, that's a phantom. See the fluffy butts? Love it. <laughs> Silky. Apparently. No, we had a Wait, look. There's, there's a couple of weird looking ones up there. Why keep geese? Ready? Got a geese. Yeah, it's tiny. Mom, can we get a shoe? Oh, she laid an egg. No, Mom, there's a geese egg. Where? Where? I can't see. It's fake. Come, keep going. Look at that. Mom, I can't see it. Look at this one. Isn't it beautiful? Keep going, keep going. Hello. 
Look at these guys. <laughs> Ducks. Oh, okay. Maybe. Let's just have a look around and see all the things we could see. I don't know if I'd be doing it in just those shoes. Wouldn't you want steel caps? <laughs> That's mental. Very brave. The axes are super sharp, mate. That's why I wouldn't want to wear those shoes. See, see how the white, see the white pants are like when you do firefighter running, cricket. They're like universal. Look at that little um, chair that they've chopped up. I'll probably spew on the spot. <laughs> Here we go. Is it? Yeah. WA things. He's trying to get a real big chunk back. Like that. I feel like it's a bit green. The shearing station. Oh, nice big. Nice big. They, they must be doing um, another one. Hey guys. Slime. Oh, little Sheila's. It's a cow one. So, Sin Jin and your West Australian base. We are. We're based in the Swan Valley Settlers Market in Hearn Hill. Amazing. Oh, that. Now, do we want to try the slow gin? What do you think, Mum? I think it looks amazing and I can't wait to taste it. Thank you. My pleasure. And then we'll get you guys sorted yeah. again before we start. Just run what through. What do all these mean? Just run through. Yeah, so what I'll, do, I'll go from left to right. I'll give it just a very brief rundown on all the flavors here. So, the original sin is all seven of these combined into one lemon myrtle, strawberry gum, you've got fenugreek, as well as a little bit of pepper berry and pomegranate seed in there. Aquavit is a Scandinavian digester. This is the Norwegian strand. This one here is strong star anise flavors, and you drink it neat all the time. It's like just like a digestive shot, basically. Yeah. Smoky aniseed flavors brought to you by Black Hardum and Caraway Seed. Lust is a gateway gin, strong lemon myrtle flavors with a low juniper profile. Sloth is a medium entry with the same ingredients as this, but with a lower lemon myrtle and a higher juniper range. Envy. First of our botanical range, Australian bushwalk flavors. So we are talking anise myrtle, lemon myrtle, bottle seed, quandong, peppermint gum, those kinds of flavors. Greed, gold medal winner from the Australian Steel Spirits Awards, London Drive. Gluttony is also another a botanical with nine botanicals, but more citrusy. Orange, lemon, calamus, ginger flavors. Wrath, spiced and savory. Absolute party time with this one here. Pink, our most popular by far, botanicals sweetened. And lastly, but not least, Slow gin. A gin liqueur. I really ah, like the sound. Made it. <laughs> Take a breath. Like a gin liqueur. We are the first like in WA to bring the, this um, one out. 22.6% using Tasmanian slow berries. Mixed with Bundaberg caster sugar and our London Dry. It's absolutely possible to taste it. There we go. 
Now, you don't mix it with a tonic or a soda, you just have it as just is. It as yeah, or an ice, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. 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 Which one? Sorry, which one do you want to have a go at? Yeah, we'll have a, have a go I want to No worries. We'll have a trace of the original. So the original's got everything in it. Original, it does have everything per se. It's got the common strands of all seven ingredients. So, because we put literally this everything. this is the one you started out. That's your, that's the main That's one. like a great gin. If you're looking for a gin and tonic alternative, bam, that's the one that you yeah. want to be going for. I'm buying one of those, but I want to taste it. Taste it first, it just in case if I like, completely disappoint you. There we go. It smells nice. Today, nice. nice. how we're doing? The smell is amazing, isn't it? Try the end one. Uh, try the end one here. Sure. There we go. Thank you very much. There we have it. That is really good. So you're getting one of them? I was worried about it being medicine-y. Is that what you're saying? Because gin is essentially a medicine. It is. It's called Mother's Room for a reason. Um, this one here. Some people, depending on your palate, if their palates have been on certain ones, some people will akin it to Benadryl. Like yep, that's one. it. There we go. That's a bit more ca casual. There we go. We'll try that with soda. Yes, you can try that with soda. Cheers. So this one here, what you can do quite simply is you can mix it wow. with um, frozen strawberries and crushed ones. Bucket of sugar. Woohoo! Georgia. Georgia's the worst influence, isn't she? That's what big sisters are for, right? A knife. He's making a knife, maybe. machine. I think they're making flour or grits. Grits. Can she see? The horse. She can see but she can only see forward. Those blinkers are designed to keep her doing what she's supposed to be doing and not getting distracted. That's how they were used. Them. 
That is so cool. show you guys the range and the advertising. Australian native, butterfly pea, shrimp pink gin, dry gin, minus strength gin. Look at this collection guys and this lovely gentleman is going to explain this amazing looking drink here. So this is our beautiful Addison 8WA. There's not many Addison drinks in Australia. Um, we use a recipe from 1855. So this is real Addison with wormwood and star It actually used to be banned um, but now it's not. So yeah. There's this whole mythology around it. You know, Van Gogh drank it. People think that's why he cut his ear off and things like that. So, so it sends you crazy, you reckon? Pretty much, right? <laughs> you apparently, if you drink enough of it, you hallucinate. I don't know about that, but yeah. I don't know about that either. So yeah, uh, were you able to taste it and give yeah, a view on it? Right. That's a that. And so, how much is a bottle of that? Okay, great. I've never tried Absent, so this is my first time. Wish me luck. <laughs> oh, it's strong. It's like licorice. Do you like licorice? Georgia, do you want to have a try? No one on YouTube has met Georgia yet. So I have talked about my son, Eli. His beautiful girlfriend, Georgia, is here with us, but she has previously not wanted to be on film, so... Do you want to try it? It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's very strong. We'll eat up this, don't stress. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a no from George. So we just spend ninety-eight dollars a bottle. <laughs> that's a no too. I'll try it. No, you won't. No, you won't. Adults only. Adults only. Can I get my? Oh, I'll, I'll drink it because it will help me get my buzz on. But otherwise, it's terrible. Really terrible. Unless you like licorice. Licorice, it's definitely licorice. -y. What I did try here that was amazing was the Miner's Strength. That was delicious. Vanilla is a big fat no from George. I didn't like the coffee liqueur one either. But I'm sure there's still, there's limoncello. There's all kinds that we didn't try. Check that out. Check this out, guys. You know that I love my bees and they're the critical for our survival. These lovely people here I've got a huge variety. Where are you guys based? We're based in Bedfordale. Bedfordale, nice. I love these jars. That's amazing. They're nice big size too. And can we find you anywhere online? No, we haven't, we haven't gone down that path yet. You haven't gone? Currently just on Facebook. Okay, Facebook's yeah, great. We're in a small little boutique. Oh, I love it. You guys, check this place out. Always support your local beekeepers. It's quite a difficult thing to do, and they're doing it for the love of the animal. So, so would, your kids, would your kids like to try some green honey? Oh my gosh, would you guys like to try that? So, so would you like to get, get yourself a little pop step? Now, if someone wants the last raw honeycomb, 
Do you want to try the little honeycomb? Any mini uh, money mo. I'd we can say, share. They can share it. Is that, uh, so that's a little bit of honeycomb. Which is... Got the wax in so it. that's what you need in there. It's a little bit of like this. So this, bees have made this. Excellent. Good sharing, guys. Yes. So, so do we want to try the cream honey? Cream I'll honey is cream divine. Cream yeah. Oh. Oh, got one. What do you think, guys? Can we share that too and be nice? The wax is... So just the wax? Like, it's not bad for you. That's good. It is, hey, on toast with butter? Oh, the best. Sa sourdough toast. I have, we have a lady who does... Uh, Oh yeah. yeah like Yum. Cream honey in, 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 like the carrots. Yeah. How is that? Yeah, the, the best. Are you allowed? Ask the person doing it if you're allowed to. Jackson. That's what fairy floss does to children. Now this is this is the um, this is the man's show area. What is it, babe? What is it? What what does that mean? Turbo. So she she rips she rips logs out quick. Absolutely, real quick. Oh, and the and the sheet and the seat has. Don't look at you. Put a crack in the seat. Ah, yeah. Now put a crack in the seat. Mm -hmm. I tell you, this first gin place we went to was way better than the second. Yeah, pass the camera, I promise ever. It's not the smallest snail, but the sexiest. Uh, right here, the turbo. Now, that's amazing, guys. So, just in case I don't know what I'm talking about, because <laughs> I definitely don't when it comes to this stuff. Babe, you want one? How much do you reckon do? Too much. Come on. Just Con oh, contain oh, your oh, excitement. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> Sorry, as you guys know, I had quite a bit of gin earlier, so I'm poking the bear. <gasps> That's what I want. Right there, guys. Look at it. Oh, yeah. So make sure you like and subscribe so Mum starts getting paid to get one of these. Yes, thanks, Brock. That's a good reminder. And then we'll be taking you on to Who's this girl? Go, Jaxi. Hop up. Oh, yeah. Bad boy. Bouncing over the paddock. Look at that, babe. That sounds too inappropriate for YouTube. Oh, yeah. And all the bucket buckets of grain go there. Whew. She's a sexy beast. It's green and gold. It's green and gold. Yes. It's That's cool, thing. isn't it? That's really cool. Jackson, what do you think? Green and it's gold got, or the other got, one? The other one, the other one. Because this one's more safety. <laughs> okay. It's on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, amazing. Did we get one? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Beef brisket. How is it, Noah? So good. So good. Show food is the best. You.
pork ribs. Exactly. Never had good pork ribs. Yeah. Food, yeah. It's freezing. Super freezing. So we decided hot drink, hot donut. Thank you so much for joining us at the show. As you can see, the weather is really bad. So we're going to get some show bags, take the kids home and watch a movie. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Subscribe, Subscribe if you haven't already. And until the next video. Bye for now.